How dare you? You don't have the right. What makes you think you have the right? Only on 10 News, a South Bay mom outraged after she says a daycare snuck a sleep aid into her six-year-old's drink to make him take a nap. They said it was Gatorade. Our Michael Chen tracks down the owner looking for answers. You did not put anything in his drink? No. No. State investigators say that daycare was slipping melatonin to children in their cups. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Derek Stahl in for Steve Atkinson. We've learned a criminal probe is underway. The mother of a child at that Bonita daycare approached 10 News reporter Michael Chen and he took her concerns right to the daycare's front door. Vanessa Cherry was just looking for an in-home daycare that would give her son a safe place to be. Instead, she believes they were giving him something in his drink. This is that daycare, Brenda Saucedo Family Child Care in Bonita. Six-year-old Julius had been at his new daycare for two weeks when he was put down for his first nap time in early August. Julius says he was handed a red drink with white flakes on top. I did think it was Gatorade, but did it taste like Gatorade? Julius drank it all. They told me to lay down, and then I just fell right asleep. When he awoke, he still felt sleepy after he told his family. It just made me feel really uneasy. His mother, Vanessa Cherry, says a complaint was filed with the state licensing division, sparking a surprise inspection and weeks later, a report. You feel betrayed. Based on interviews and documentation like text messages, state investigators cited the daycare for providing melatonin to the daycare children to help them sleep. How dare you give my kid something without even telling me, without my acknowledgement, just like... How dare you? You don't have the right. Cherry filed a report with deputies who have begun an investigation. Melatonin is a natural supplement used as a sleep aid. Possible side effects include dizziness and nausea. We found a handful of criminal cases across the country. Three daycare providers in Chicago charged with giving melatonin gummy bears before nap time. Everybody makes mistakes. In Oregon, a woman sentenced to 21 years for feeding melatonin to kids while she went tanning and to the gym. Some of those kids now complain of not being able to sleep. I'm sorry. When we knocked on the door of the Bonita daycare, a woman identifying herself as the owner told us the only child she's ever fed melatonin to is her own child because he is autistic. As for Julius. You did not dose that child with melatonin. That child was only here once. I was only here that one Friday. For one nap time. Mm -hmm. That was it. You did not put anything in his drink. No. No. Why would this board, why I would these investigators wanna, say that you have been putting I'm melatonin? Sorry, I don't want to comment anymore. Should this daycare still be up and running? No. I don't think they should still be up and up and running. Um, that's just the biggest mistrust that you can that you can do to any parent, to any child. It's Michael Chen, ten years. According to the State Department of Social Services, the daycare owner wrote a declaration she will no longer provide melatonin to children and she must watch a video on children's rights. Her clients must be notified and because it's a serious violation, the daycare could now be subject to more inspections. As for Cherry, she's planning to file a lawsuit against the daycare. And if your child attends daycare, there are requirements to give you and the facility number. You have a link. It's on our homepage, 10news.com, where you can enter that number to see if the daycare faces any violations.